I'm High Hill Knight. Welcome to my channel. If you've seen Star Wars The Last Jedi, maybe you like it, maybe you didn't like it, but one thing that many fans, including myself and, in a way, Mark Hamill himself, feel that Luke Skywalker wouldn't have just given up on his responsibilities. He wouldn't have given up on the galaxy, on his own family, on the Force itself, and go run and hide on some island. He would find a way to uh, rise up and take action. He wouldn't just uh, wait around to die. I agree with that. But it happened in the movie, so I thought to myself, is there any real credible reason why Luke Skywalker would do that? And I think I thought of a legitimate reason. Now, before I go any further, let me say that this is not some type of callback to some paragraph in a official merchandising book. This is not about some deleted scene. This is not about some interview that uh, George Lucas did 30 years ago. No uh, certain point of view, no video game reference or comic book reference or uh, Clone Wars reference or Rebels reference. This is in canon reason, okay? So no, this happens in the main movies. You can go check them out yourself if you haven't seen them already. I think I found a legit reason why it happened. And if you paid attention to the title of this video and the thumbnail of this video, then you'll probably see where I'm going. So, everyone fondly remembers that Luke Skywalker is uh, the son of Darth Vader, but many people have overlooked that Luke Skywalker is also the son of Padme Amidala. And how did Padme Amidala die? She died in childbirth. And even though the medical droid actually says there's nothing wrong with her medically, she dies because she's lost the will to live. Now, that movie came out over 15 years ago. I didn't accept that reason then. I don't accept that reason now. My mother, who has given birth to uh, five offspring, she tried to tell me, well, you know, we're in that state, uh, anything can happen. You know, uh, it's a really uh, frustrating time and, you know, having your heart broken can do uh, a tra traumatic things to yourself. And I fully know that there's a postpartum depression, which can lead to serious uh, mental his issues and things like that. I don't have any children on my own, but uh, I have experienced those moments of irrationality with the uh, ladies that are with child. That's fine. But we're talking about a character that has no medical issues, about to give birth, dying because her husband went bad? Okay, let's review. Padme Adedala, when she's 14 years old, she's queen of a planet. That planet starts getting occupied by the Trade Federation. She goes to the Senate. She tells the Senate, hey, my planet's being occupied by the Trade Federation. The Trade Federation, of course, denies it, says, hey, what we're doing is totally illegal. Uh, the Senate ultimately decides not to help her out. So she says, okay, fine, I'll do it myself. She goes back to her planet, liberates the planet. Of course, she had a lot of help, but still, she took action. She took back her planet, and that was when she was 14. Then she grows up, she becomes a senator, and even though there is turmoil in the galaxy, she's still fighting to go fight for uh, democracy. She's still willing to go into battle. She's still, you know, gapping a blaster and, and heading out uh, into danger. So she spent a lifetime uh, being capable as a political leader. She's being capable as a uh, leader on multiple battlefield uh, fronts. And she's about to be a mother, the most, you know, um, most important thing you can do in life, uh, you know, bring forth uh, offspring and care for those offspring. And she's just going to give up <laughs> because, you know, her husband had a really uh, a bad day. He's gone to the dark side. I mean, think about it. Remember she was dying? He's like, oh, oh, they're still good at him. Obi-Wan, Obi-Wan, the man who just went into a fight with my husband. They nearly kill each other. But, you know, you can say when he, he, he's... He's, he's they're still, they're still good at him. They're still good at him. Like, wh why are you trying to ask the guy that nearly killed your husband to go uh, still have faith in him when you, you know, just, you know, take a day or two or a week, however, to recover from childbirth and you try to go 
bring your husband back from the dark side. You know, just as you liberated your uh, <laughs> your planet, just as you uh, fought in multiple battles, you know, you, you're just going to give up. It's too much for you. Your 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 uh, day one of baby daddy drama is too much, and it's like. Oh, I do declare, my husband, he has turned to the dark side. I cannot take it to be more. <laughs> I don't buy it. I never bought it. I still don't buy it. But it happened in the movie. It's in canon. So let's fast forward. We have Luke Skywalker, the young uh, farm boy who destroyed a Death Star. The young man that uh, ignored the uh, instructions of his trainer and his uh, mentor, both, uh, you know, um, Yoda and Obi-Wan Kenobi, to go to Cloud City to try to save his friends, even though he knows he's not fully trained and ready, he has to go save his friends. You know, this same guy who made like a two or three year plan to infiltrate Jabba the Hutt uh, and rescue Han, the same guy who uh, went directly to the Emperor fully believing that he can redeem his uh, father who was responsible for, I don't know, countless millions of deaths, either directly or indirectly. He's killed a lot of younglings in his time, okay? But still, you know, that character who's done all that, you know, in his history, and as time progresses, you assume that he'll learn more about the Force and more about uh, things and become even more confident, more capable in helping his sister and friends form a new government and things like that. Oh, his his nephew, uh, you know, he had a really bad altercation with his nephew one night. It led to the death of some of his students. And, you know, his nephew's bad. Some of his students are bad. And the uh, galaxy's about to go in chaos. And he's failed his sister. He's failed his best friend and brother-in-law. And he's just going to run off. You know, he's not, he's not, oh, it's too much for me. I must die now. But still, it's like, oh, shucks. I can't do anymore. I'll give up. I'm just going to run away to this island, and I'll just wait and die, and I'll, you know, drink my daily green alien uh, milk and things like that until I eventually die, you know, even though we gave a map to where he can be found. But we'll just ignore that uh, continuity problem because, you know, Ryan Johnson clearly ignored it. But still, uh, Long story shorter, uh, you know, Padme Amidala, she gave up, even though she was a capable, confident, uh, you know, take responsibility, a fighter, smart, uh, you know, loved her husband, and it's like, oh, well, she gave up and died. So fast forward, here's her son, capable, smart, uh, responsible, you know, loving of his friends and family, willing to fight. Oh. Chips got down, all had a really bad night. You know, mom had a really bad uh, night with with, the, with family drama. Luke had a really bad night with family drama. He runs off uh, to wait and die while his mom just, oh, nothing medically wrong with me. <sighs> so, yeah, uh, that's my uh, reason. <laughs> that's my big Hail Mary uh, pass to all the fans to so hopefully calm the fandom down just a little bit. Yeah, that's that's a legitimate in canon reason why Luke Skywalker, the ultimate hero of the galaxy, turned a uh, tail and ran away to some island. His mom gave up, despite being a capable uh, warrior and leader. Luke gave up, despite being a capable warrior and leader. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Please like, share, and subscribe. Or dislike, share, and subscribe. Definitely leave some comments. I definitely will read all feedback and perspectives. And remember, find inspiration everywhere.